with your team. Remember so what? I saw your hand. Was there something you wanted? You said you were 70. I was reminding you that we're 72. <laughs> Why'd you mind your boys? <laughs> Me all up in my head. <laughs> yeah, we are. We are 72. And I remind you that you're older than me. Than we accepted. Your birthday is June the 1st and mine is June the 23rd. You're older than me. <laughs> and, uh, what a fellowship. What a joy to find you. Thank the Lord for it. Uh, I was thinking that maybe if I ramble on a little bit, I remember what it was that I forgot. It, 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 it's not happening, Sister Henderson. And now, now you're supposed to remember what I forget. Oh. <laughs> uh, so, uh, we, we, we're going to move on, Saints. Uh, last but not least, we want to acknowledge our visitors with us this morning. I look around and I see a few new faces. And so, I want to ask all our visitors if you will please stand that we might extend to you some special words of welcome. Uh, scripture says, beware of entertaining angels unaware. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised if some angels dropped in on us, and you might be them. So we're going to ask our visitors if we please stand, that we might extend to you some special words of welcome. Uh, tell us your name and what church you're a member of, if you so desire. If not, you may be seated. It's not required. Uh, first, I want to give honor to God who's having my life and all the saints. I'm um, Leonard Kirk from the Blueprint or the Village Church in TBC Fitz Portsmouth. Portsmouth. Uh, I'm Kia McBride. I'm also at Portsmouth. And we're here visiting Pastor Sherry. Sherry. Yeah, yeah. So we met him at Cuba. invitation. So here we are. Hey, bless the Lord. Sister Sinison, why don't you extend to them some words of welcome for us? <laughs> Amen. So, so she gonna she gonna say that's why you put me on the spot like that. Cause you my wife. And <laughs> well, praise God, giving our God all glory and honor. We thank you so much, and as well as the visitors that chose not to stand, we thank you for coming. You have been a blessing to us, and we pray that you will get something out of the message. I know you're looking forward to your relative. Is it Reverend Sharon, your relative? Oh, we, we you know what? We, oh, we're we relatives now. Yes. Oh, <laughs> okay. Vacation, but we could well, go. blood in Jesus. Right. We are all related by the blood of Jesus Christ. And so we are looking forward to this message. And we thank you for coming and pray that you will be able to come back again. Yes. Amen. 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 Well, uh, yeah, you may be seated. Thank you so very much for coming. And certainly our hearts have been made to feel glad. Uh, Brother Sharon is letting his light shine. Um, he, he, when I, when I hear about his work and some of the things that he's doing, and uh, this is the fifth Sunday of July, and in the Baptist Church we consider fifth Sundays missionary Sundays. And it must be Missionary Sunday because Pastor Bishop Sharon is certainly a missionary preacher. He, 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 you never know when he's going to be in Cuba, South Africa, or Canada. You, you never know where Bishop Sharon is going to be. You always know what he's going to be doing, but you never know uh, where. And, and that is a special gift in itself. Yes. Uh, I, I, that is not a gift that God gave to me. Uh, if Jesus goes with me, I'll go, the song says. And, 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 and so he, he gives us all different gifts. And when he gives you that gift, you know it well as you stay in his will. And so uh, I'm persuaded that Bishop Sharon is as comfortable as, as anything. Whether he's in Cuba, South Africa, Canada, wherever it may, 
he, he, he is quite content. And quite persuaded that Jesus is with him uh, wherever he goes. But uh, that is not a gift that everyone has. And I just praise and thank God for him, uh, that God can use him in such a magnificent way. Uh, that's all that we have this morning, once again, in the way of announcements. Uh, we're going to look to our choir at this time to come and render us selection.
aware of that. Uh, but if you know that God never fails, you ought to say amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Are you a witness that God yes. never fails? Yes. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thanks. What a blessed assurance. Yeah. What a blessed assurance. We, we come, saints, to the time of our offering as we prepare to take our offering. Let us remember that offering is not a social time. We do it reverently. We do it as unto the Lord. Those of you who are this morning, we ask you to please not to your tithe offering in the red offering basket, but that you hold your tithe offering until the proper time. Offering on below. Uh, if you will uh, look in the pocket of the seat in front of you, you should be able to find one. Like this. I should choose right plainly your name and the amount included in your envelope. Those of you visitors, if you choose to use the offering envelope, we ask you to aid us in our church administration by writing the word visitor at the top of the envelope. If you're unable to find an offering envelope in the pocket of the seat in front of you, if you will hold your hand up, our usher for this morning, Deaconess Jordana White, glad to get This time, Dickon and Training, Jarrell Wilson, is coming to receive the regular offering. What shall I render unto the Lord for all his benefits towards me? I will take the cup of salvation, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows unto the Lord, now in the presence of all his people. God says give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure. Press down, shaken together, and running over shall men give into your bosom. And the same measure with which he measure, it shall be measured to you again. He who so sparingly shall reap also sparingly. So it bountifully shall be bountifully. Every man, as he purposeth in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly, nor of necessity, for God loves a cheerful giver. What dost thou have, O man, that thou didst not first receive, and if thou didst receive it, why boastest thou freely we have received? Freely give. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in the green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil, but thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. I will press a table before me in the presence of my enemy. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell house of the Lord forever. Let us all stand as one of our officers leads us in our altar of prayer. Let us pray. Then we probably thank you for this offer, Lord. Would you touch the ones that gave, Lord, the ones that did, but had their hearts in the Lord. And that this offer we give is the way you see fit in the Lord. All these precious blessings we ask in Jesus' precious name, four, six. Amen. Amen. All thanks. <coughs>
think so. I, I, I'm, I'm not, a, I'm, I'm old, but I'm not as forgetful as you are. I, I, I remember what I forgot. You mentioned earlier that uh, we have a problem with our internet service. Did, did we did uh, succeed in, in getting it? Yeah. Okay, and so uh, in light of that, I wanted to just say good morning to our viewers in internet land, and certainly our doors here at Neutral Hang and Swing on Welcome Hinges. I always like to remind you in that land that we are not entertainers.